in a dark, abandoned warehouse. A man standing with a fridge at the side is then approached by a car. Stepping out of the car are men in suits that then approach the man saying, Dr. Pratt, is it? Yes. Do you have it? I do. The Journal of Victor Frankenstein. The Foundation had many copies. They've archived it. They hardly notice it's missing. But here's a digital copy. Excellent. And you have... Yes. I have the body of Victor Frankenstein. They think that it was cremated, but I kept it, kept it preserved for you as you instructed. Opening the fridge, they see Frankenstein's lifeless body laying, then close it, satisfied with what they see. The scientist, Dr. Pratt, then says, look, as we agreed, of course, of course, the sinister man in the suit makes a phone call saying, Yes, release the man's family. No, have them unharmed. He then hangs up the phone and Pratt says, Thank God. Then the man says, You can thank him yourself, if you're going there, that is. What? Pulling the trigger, killing him. Shooting him once in the stomach, then again in the head. They then take the body and the copy of the journal and put it in a truck that's also standing by. The man in the suit then gets into the car and says, We have it right here, Miss Dr. Pretorius. Then... Pretorius leans forward into the light and says, Oh, please, call me Septimus. Septimus Pretorius. And this will do nicely. Of course, it will take a few, a great while to construct this machine. I've not to mention modernizing the technology, but I think we can do this. <laughs> Did you honour the agreement? We did. But then we shot him. Oh, what a pity. But that's the trouble with the Foundation staff. They should never have a family. Because it is their weakness. Are you sure this is the Lord's will? It must be. God gave Frankenstein this knowledge, yet he did not understand it. But I will understand it. We will also bring back Frankenstein as our test subject and give him a rebirth. Adam wakes up, goes for a workout, trains himself, and goes through the motion of fighting. He then takes a shower and kisses Eve, his bride, and then go out on a patrol run at night hunting for monsters, taking down some creatures that are misbehaving. Until then... One human throws a can, saying, We don't want you monsters. Adam then returns to his residential part of the foundation, where Eva 
Dan's waiting for him, going, How did it go today? Oh, you know the usual, my love. Great. Do I not get a kiss? said Eve, kissing him. He asks what she did during the day. She tells him nothing much, that she took down a witch coven from performing a satanic ritual. So, and then, mentioning to Adam, one of them said something about the end's begun, you will fall, he will rise, all that stuff. Anyway, let's forget about today and focus on us. They then kiss and make love to one another before going to sleep. Adam then dreams of his past. The horrors he went through with Frankenstein before waking up. He then sits up and gets out of bed and looks out of a window. Eve then also gets out of bed and asks, Did you have another dream? Yes, said Adam. Was it of your birth again? My early days, yes. But I got what I needed. No thanks to Victor. Despite him rejecting you and being your father, he still gave you life. Yes, he did, but could not understand the science of his time. Then, the next evening, Adam has a briefing with Dr. Whale and a Foundation SWAT team, saying... So, there is this, uh, people that seem to be putting something illegal together of supernatural origin, said Dr. Whale, and we need to deal with this right away. Then, the team then bust in, where, in a warehouse, there is a laboratory under construction, then soldiers, rogue soldiers, mercenaries, fire back at the Foundation team. Some of them being supernatural creatures, they use their abilities to fight over them. But these soldiers are armed with wooden bullets, silver bullets, crucifixes, and all other religious symbols. Then they look and they find that this lab is partly constructed at this abandoned lab Adam sees something laying on the ground an organic substance taking it back to a lab at the foundation Dr. Whale examines it saying it looks like part of a dead brain why anyone would be doing something with that I don't know Also, along the way, in this warehouse, they found the body of scientist Pratt. Then, looking at Pratt, they go, Oh, no. Pratt. Who is he? Just a Foundation scientist. Uh, he was, well, he actually volunteered to archive Frankenstein's journal and dispose of his body. Hmm. And he's been shot? Yes. Later on, Whale performs an autopsy on his body, cutting him open, believing to have been dead a few days, and that in this warehouse they set up a small machine that they attempted to temporarily bring something back from the dead. Then, as Whale digs through, he finds something. A chip. But it's not just a chip, it's a memory stick. Looking at the memory stick, 
he then wonders how it got into Pratt's stomach with a bullet just missing it. Believing that he must have swallowed it in his final moments, he then plugs it into a computer and sees a video diary of Pratt saying, If you're watching this, it means I'm dead. But I hope my family is okay. You were right. Griffin was right in saying I should let my family go, abandon them, stage death. But of course, I could not let them go. I wish I had, cause the Order held my family hostage. And they threatened to kill them. I volunteered to get rid of the body of Victor Frankenstein, but I didn't do that necessarily. See, I wanted to examine the body of Frankenstein. Upon some mole in the Foundation who was working for the Order found this information out, they wanted his body brought to them. With them using my family as a bargaining chip, I... I obliged, made a digital copy of Frankenstein's journal, gave the body. God only knows what they want to do with it. But I fear that they may be planning something. An experiment. Wanting to restart the work of Victor Frankenstein. Tell my family whatever you want. I'd much prefer you tell them the truth, but... Like I say, they did not know I worked for the Foundation, but at the time of this recording, the cat's out of the bag about the whole existence of monsters since the events of the battle, the rifts, the planet alignments. God help us all. He then turns off the camera, and Whale then says, Well, looks like the Order have got hold of someone. Showing the footage to Dr. Jekyll. So, you're saying that people can record diaries of themselves in videos? Yes, Dr. Jekyll as Dorian Gray appeared. It's technology of this time. You still have much to catch up on. Why don't you go and uh, watch some history documentary or something of the last century? I'll take it from here, of course. How is Hyde? We have our agreements. Good. So what is it you have? Well, I was hoping to tell Griffin about this. Director Griffin is on leave. He's dealing with another crisis elsewhere. But what is this? You know Dr. William Pratt? I do. Good employee. Turns out that the Order exploited his weakness and used it against him. What do you mean? Later, as he explains everything, Gray then says, God damn it! We told Adam that we destroyed Frankenstein's body! This must not get out, do you hear? What mustn't get out? As Eve appeared, back from the mission. Eve? How much of that did you hear? Enough to know that Frankenstein's body is not destroyed. Just what do you think Adam's going to think when he hears this? He's not. We won't tell him. We will deal with this. Then, Eve asks, and what is this order? The order, well, that's going back a while. I'll explain it to you. The Order 
is an organization, kind of like what the reverse of us. You see, when the Foundation founded, many religious groups, secret religious groups, knew of our work, and they did not agree with it, thinking that we would be bringing hell on earth. So, each person representing a religion bounded and formed the Alliance, believing that they can help stop Judgment Day, but they take things to the extreme. Now that the cat's out of the bag about us, it won't be long before they know, the public, that these people exist, and there will be those who want to be part of them. You mean all religions, said Eve. Yes, all religions, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Judaism, you name it. The order all have a common goal, whether they believe in the same God or not. Meanwhile, back at the hidden location of the Order, a machine is perfectly constructed, Pretorius observing, saying, well, the prototype wasn't as successful as I hoped, but hopefully we got it right, and with the modern technology today, we don't need to rely on an electrical storm. Are you sure we should be doing this? Dr. Pretorius said a man, at the order. Of course. As I said, if God did not want man to know his secret to giving life, he would not have gifted us that knowledge. He gave Frankenstein this knowledge, but he could not understand. And because he could not understand his own science, he rejected it. But think of all the science we've mastered from Christianity and religion. People think magic is immoral, but magic is just science we don't understand. In the Holy Bible, the Virgin Mary became pregnant with the Son of God. What if God just artificially inseminated her? Because we can do that now in this day and age. I believe we should free this knowledge and finally conquer one thing at a time. You see, people have found ways to try and prolong life, beating many illnesses, smallpox, polio, HIV, currently working on the cure for cancer, but what if those diseases could be tackled, if we can tackle the thing that it results in? Death. I'm not sure. Won't populations go out of control? It may, but there are people that are sentenced to death, and I believe in a controlled environment. Those in charge can decide how long people live for and how long they should. Now, have we got a guinea pig? I want to save the main attraction for a public display. Yes, good. A rat is then brought into the machine, where it is hooked to wires. Then, using all the electricity they can, they then bring back a rat from the dead. Pretorius, impressed by this, he asks that they bring another subject in, a dead chimpanzee. Bringing back the chimp, but the chimp, of course, being aggressive and violent before putting it down. Pretorius then says, I think we are confident now to do this public display. Gather a press conference. I'm going to show that man can be like God. After, Frank, after Adam Frankenstein has a workout and takes a shower, he then looks at the news where Sep Septimus Pretorius is having a press conference explaining his plan, saying, This is the dawn of a new age. We now know that we are not alone in this world. But I believe that science 
and supernatural are one in the same, but what we don't understand. And I will do so when I perform an experimental demonstration on Friday night, and you're all invited. Adam wondering what this means. He then interrupts a meeting that Dr. Whale, Mr. Grey, and also Eve are in on. Adam saying, what is this? Adam? Tell me what's going on. Who is this Pretorius saying he can perform an act of God? We might as well tell him, said Grey. Adam? You know, like we said, we cremated the body of your father. Yes. I'm afraid he was not cremated, and now his body is in the hands of the Order. The Order? What is the Order? It is an extreme organization of various religious people that believe that man should be in power and that we are seen as the abomination. I fear that they've got a copy of Frankenstein's journal and they plan to do something with that knowledge. Adam then goes, for fuck's sake. We need to destroy these digital diaries. It's no good. Man should not have this knowledge. You allowed us to make Eve. They did, Adam. That's something I requested from Frankenstein. After that, I would have destroyed the machine and his journal and him along with it. And I would have run off into the sunset. You were going to kill Frankenstein even when you made the agreement. He may have gone back on his word, but he refused to do so in the end. That's how I killed his love, Elizabeth. Oh, right. Where is this conference being held, this demonstration? At a public event. Then let us go. Adam and a SWAT team, all undercover and waiting, among others, watch and observe this whole presentation, wondering what's going on, going to this building where the event's taking place, a light then turns off, then the lights come on, beaming on Pretorius, saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, my name is Dr. Septimus Pretorius, and tonight I'm going to perform a miracle. The world now knows of the existence of the supernatural, and where there are monsters, there are gods. And I believe that the god is keeping an eye on us still, and is helping us in many ways prepare. I believe they gift us with knowledge. And, of the 21st century, we are gifted with the greatest knowledge of all. Ahead of his time, Victor Frankenstein created a creature. Unable to understand his work, he abandoned this creation. But now, we're going to show you that Frankenstein was ahead of his time. I don't know how many of you know the stories of Victor Frankenstein. But we could ask him. Behold! The men then uncover the machine where Frankenstein's body lays in there, Adam looking in horror, going, Oh, God! They're going to bring Frankenstein back! With the flip of this lever, we will give Frankenstein rebirth. Pulling the lever, the electricity charges through the big machine and then starts jolting electricity into the body. Adam runs to stop the experiment, but then 
as the whole lightning conducts into the body, Frankenstein opens his eyes and then screams. Pretorius then switches off the machine and then shows everyone, you see, the gift of rebirth. Not only could we create new life, we can restore old life with this machine that I like to call the Prometheus. Because Prometheus believed man and God should live equally, and I believe that we should possess the science of gods to fight and combat the evil that is monsters. Then, firing a gun at the machine, everyone ducks and takes cover, where soldiers of the Order then surround Adam and point a gun at him saying, freeze, all looking at him. Adam then says, you can fire at me if you want. You can show me religious symbols. I'm immune to a lot of them. I was born out of death. The one thing I can't do is die when I already am dead. As they're all about to take aim and fire, Pretorius stops it, saying, hold on. I believe we can help one another out. What? Take the machine back to the lab for repairs, and how about you come back to our secret base with me? The Foundation SWAT team are all at the ready. Holding their guns up, Adam then tells them, Put your guns down! But Adam, said one of the agents, put them down. I want to deal with this man myself. Oh, but how can we be enemies when we're only just getting to know one another? I know that you're a monster, but... Monsters come in many shapes and forms. You were a monster of your time, but I think the true monster was your father. Victor Frankenstein. As Frankenstein gets taken and loaded into a truck, screaming in hysterics, Adam then looks at Pretorius, saying, Fine. What is it you want to say? We'll discuss things back at the Order base. But of course you don't, can't know where that is. They then put a bag on Adam's head and take him to where Pretorius requested, looking at Dr. Whale, saying, You know, you're working for the wrong side. People of your talents should not try and have monsters live in this world. But gods, maybe that's another thing. Then, Dr. Whale says, I'll be seeing you very soon. They then pack up and go as the public run around in distress and news breaks out. Eve looks from a tall skyscraper, sees that Pretorius has Adam, as she lowers the gun and is about to take a clear shot. She then says, Oh, you are really something, Pretorius, but you're no friend of Adam's. As she leans her finger onto the trigger, she then is ordered by a familiar voice, saying, Stop.